Hi everyone, please enjoy these stories about the art of cross-dressing. We are a young channel, so liking and subscribing goes a long way. Enjoy! I always told myself that cross-dressing was just a hobby, a way that I expressed myself. I valued my reputation a lot and knew that coming out as a cross-dresser would end many of my relationships. I accepted the fact that most of my friends and family would simply just never understand. I decided it would be easier to tell no one. The plan worked for a long time, until one weekend when everything changed. I was in my early 20s and working 40 hours a week in the manufacturing industry. At that time, I had a girlfriend named Rebecca that was living with me. We lived in a studio apartment and split rent evenly. She worked in technology and made close to triple of what I made. She often worked from home while I had to go to work physically. We usually spent the most time together on the weekend. This weekend was our two year anniversary. But unfortunately, Rebecca told me that she would be gone during the week due to a conference. I was a little disappointed, but knew that we would just celebrate the weekend after. Rebecca packed all of her things Friday evening and left just 30 minutes after I got back from work. We said our goodbyes and she departed. I sensed something was a little off but I thought I was just overthinking. I had realized earlier in the day that this weekend would be a great opportunity to cross-dress. I had been wanting to cross-dress for a few months now, but had never gotten the opportunity. I waited 20 minutes after Rebecca left, just in case she had forgotten something. I tried to check her location, but it wasn't working for some reason. Once I thought that the coast was clear, I made my way to our bedroom. Rebecca had quite the taste for fashion and had many items of clothes that I wanted to try on. I removed my boring men's clothes and put on some of her black undergarments. I then picked out a short pink dress that had caught my eye. The pink dress was very tight on me since I was a little bigger than Rebecca. I liked how the dress felt. I took it off and went to the bathroom. I completely shaved my entire body except my head. It was a little bit exhausting, but I knew it would be necessary to complete the look. I decided that I would tell Rebecca that I had done some swimming classes while she had gone and shaved my body for that. I wasn't sure if she was going to believe me, I went back out of the bathroom and put on the dress. I then put my hair into a hair cap and put on a wig that Rebecca had. This was the only wig in our apartment and Rebecca mostly used it for Halloween costumes. Once the wig was on, I used some of Rebecca's makeup to make myself look more feminine. I didn't want to use too much of her makeup as she would definitely notice that something was off. The makeup felt great on my skin. Once I was done applying, I went to the front of our studio apartment and put on a pair of heels. The heels matched the dress as they were also pink. I wished that the heels were a little bigger, but I had to work with what was in the apartment. The second that the buckle of the heel the second that the buckle of the heels snapped on my feet, I was in heaven. It was so good to dress up after not wearing women's clothes for so long. I did a little twirl and strutted around the apartment. I was in such a good mood. I turned on our home stereo system and began to play some girly upbeat music as I danced around in the living room. I closed my eyes and pretended I was a girl. Everything was going great. I started doing all types of dances and shaking my body. Suddenly, I felt myself run into something. 
I immediately opened my eyes and froze in place. I had bumped into Rebecca. She was holding a box of chocolates and some flowers. She had her makeup all done and was also wearing a dress. We both stood looking at each other as the music continued to play in the background. Rebecca walked over to the wall and unplugged the sound system and continued to stare at me. Finally, she said something. You actually kind of look like a girl. I can tell this isn't your first time doing this by how your makeup is done. I'm going to give you one chance to be 100% honest with me and tell me everything. If you don't, then me and you are over, and I'm going to tell everyone about this. I took a long, deep breath before telling Rebecca everything. I told her that I had been cross-dressing for many years now and how it is just a hobby, but I feel so good when I do it. I explained that I have a stash of women's clothes, but it's far away in storage, so I had worn her clothes. I explained to her that I was still straight, but just liked how women's clothes felt and what they meant to me. She listened intently to me, taking each of my words in. After another pause, after I was done speaking, she said, Well, I actually didn't have a business conference this weekend and was planning to come home and surprise you. I guess I ended up being the one that was surprised. Rebecca laughed a little when she said this. She took another deep breath in and continued, So honestly, this is fine. I don't mind you dressing up occasionally. I wish you would have just asked me before borrowing my clothes. That would have been great. But whatever. Rebecca walked up to me and held my hand as she instructed me to do a spin. She smiled as she saw my full outfit. She said, Okay, girly, I'm glad you're already dressed up because I made dinner plans at 8 p.m. and we need to leave right now. My jaw dropped. There was no way I was going out in public like this. Before I could say anything, Rebecca took my hand and pulled me out the door. We rushed down the hallway and into the elevator. As the elevator was going down, I asked her where we were going, and she told me the name of the restaurant. It was a restaurant that we had gone to many times before. Unfortunately for me, this restaurant was also a common hangout area for many of our friends. The elevator opened, and Rebecca led me into the lobby and then into the car. She drove me to the restaurant, and we arrived almost exactly at 8 p.m. We were seated at one of the tables in the middle of the restaurant. I nervously glanced around, hoping that I didn't see anyone that we knew. Fortunately, I didn't see anyone. The rest of the dinner was very fun. We talked about our relationship, and Rebecca said that this whole cross-dressing thing was going to make things a lot more fun for the both of us. Rebecca joked that now she just had to pack for herself when we went on vacations and we could share clothes. Rebecca continued on about the idea of going on vacation, and I had to dress like a girl the whole time. The rest of the dinner went by quickly, and before I knew it, we were back at the apartment. Looking back, I was glad that Rebecca found out about my cross-dressing. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the story. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see another part of the story. Maybe they go on vacation. Who knows? See you next time.